All right, friends of the bear here. We're at Epcot today on a slightly overcast day to just hang out, Enjoy low impact, day. chill day with some friends. Maybe Sarah Tide Moon will make an appearance, maybe she won't. Until then, come on, hang out with us. We'll have a few drinks. Be sure to keep swimming. You heard the girl. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Okay. I like it. So was it? I don't think so. Uh, okay. But I can always add one. Okay. Pinot Noir for the Noirs in us. And if you ever played LA Noir, this is in truth. It's a truth. This is a very crisp and light noir. It's not like a heavy um so it's a grape forward, I would say. Great for a hot day in the parks, not a cold day in the parks. Three out of, three and a half out of five Lucio Ball stomping grapes. On the same page now. On the same page now. Pinot Noir. I don't even know what kind, but we're gonna try it. Okay, I was expecting room temperature. It is a little bit chiller than room temperature. Not too much, but that's really smooth. Normally red wine, I'm like, the back of the teeth, like right hits me kind of thing, and I can only take like a few sips and then I'm kind of good. This is really good. Yeah, I would give that one like a four out of five claws. I could drink that one easily. Probably a whole bottle. We might be in a trade circumstance. <laughs> Professionals, of course. You don't start in Canada, you don't start in Mexico, you come International Gateway. You start in France because of wine. Or Pinot Noir if that's your thing. It's grapey. There's a grape juice. Adult grape juice. You guys know how I feel about adult grape juice. I don't mind it. It's not dry. It's not too sweet. It's drinkable. Not what I would start with. It's not whiskey, obviously, but it's good wine. Three and a half out of five plus. Miss Sayla Taylor decided to go with the grapefruit champagne. And you know, it can only be called champagne when it's from France. Anywhere else is called sparkling wine. And I, for some reason, Epcot just wants to hit with the grapefruit. Grapefruit beer, grapefruit champagne. All right. Light on the grapefruit. Uh, it's not bad. Um, four out of five grapefruits. I would actually drink four or five of these. I would drink a bottle and not share. And then Bear would see me all like lay down on the couch and wonder what happened. And I'd just be like, I'm sorry, uh, grapefruit mimosas or something, I don't know. There goes my champagne. That's right. It's gone now. Maybe I just took this drink from Taylor. Pinot Noir life. <laughs> it, this just happened. Don't talk to me about laid out on the couch. I love a good nap. It's called an afternoon nap and that's what we do in our lives. Uh, this is a grapefruit, sparkling wine. Oh, it's sparkling wine? I mean, it's not Champagne. It's not from France. Uh, Wait, it is France. It is Champagne. It's, it's okay. I might have thought I was in Germany for a second, but <laughs> we're in France, so it is Champagne. I do like it. Um, it's got a little bit of a fruit compared to like the rest of it, but again, not too heavy on the grapefruit. I would take grapefruit juice in this, but mainly just to like add color, make it pink because I like the champagne more. That's a good vibe. I would still give it a five out of five. I might be geek with this one. Now sparkling anything, now I'm starting to feel fancy. Get the little two fingers, get the pinky up. Yes. <coughs> now, I'm not a big griffin fruit person, but griffin fruit sparkling wine? That's something special. It's almost like liquid candy. Ooh, four out of five plus. You should stop for drinks in France more often. This is a French beer of sorts that's beer. I'm sure Bear will tell you what it's called. It tastes slightly better than Bud Light, but it's like a Bud Light, like this is a chugging, this is a Pong, pong beer. Um, three and a half out of five yeasties. I would mess with this if I needed to chug a beer and I didn't want to drink Bud Light, which is like, never. Is that Bud Light? 
feel like you only get me to taste beers just so you can see the same face, but we're gonna do it anyways. It tastes like sour bread. I can't do beers. This is why I drink liquor and wine and anything else, sake, anything else but beer. It tastes like bread and I'm already full from a sip of it. I can't do it. Zero, zero out of five for me. No way, no way. I'm biased enough to say that Cronenberg, the 1664 you can get in France, is one of the best beers in world showcase. I'm sure there's some beer connoisseurs that will be willing to fight me over that. You can do that in the comments so I can ignore you. You like it more than Le Fin? I said one of the best beers okay, on okay, World Showcase. Okay, not okay, the best. Okay, okay. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's okay. still the Dunkel in Germany. There is the Le Fin in, in Canada. We're getting way ahead of ourselves on the best beer. But again, you can fight about that in the comments. I might join you. That first of a beer in the day. It's like fancy beer. It's, it's like Miller High Life without the trailer park. I like it. Four out of five plus. <laughs> I did it, a Nemo inspiration. This is my Dory. Oh, that looks like a big piece of meat. Somebody gave it or it stole it. Wow. He, he picked it up off the ground, yeah. so somebody threw that. Hello, Kentucky Bourbon Barrel. We love you and your high ABV. Four out of five yeasties. She's been soaking in a bourbon barrel. Not technically a bourbon beer. I think I might like it more with a shot of bourbon. Let's find out, shall we? More sour than the last one, if I'm gonna do a comparison. But man, is that bread I don't wanna eat. Oh, it's so sour. Straight zero out of five. I can't drink those. I love you guys, but I hate beer. I can't do it. Is it just like the... I mean... If we're, if we're getting to the point where we're rating beers on World Showcase, this is probably in the top three best beers on World Showcase. My bad. I am never turning down the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel anything. And they come in the regular, they have a cream one, they have all different types of flavors. If you are lucky enough to come across a case of this, if you don't buy it, I'm going to think a little less of you. Just, 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 just gosh. This whole trend of everything being in a bourbon barrel, wine, beer, I love it. Four and a half out of five plus. And then we got this frozen apple pie moonshine drink. I like the cinnamon notes to it. It's actually pretty delicious. It does taste like um, one of those McDonald's apple pies. Three out of five apples. If it was on the rocks, I would be all over this. It doesn't taste sour at all. It's not sour. <laughs> I can't do it. It literally it's like how I think it leaves a sour after throat aftertaste in my mouth. I can't do it. Can't do it. Not me. Apple pie though. My favorite thing is the apple pie moonshine. So let's see how this is. Okay, my straw's frozen. Screw that. I mean, it tastes like apple juice. There's almost, apple juice in it. I was like, almost more like applesauce because it's still got like the icy kind of like shave to it. I mean, I dig it. I could probably turn this in the shot if you try me. I'll give it like a, a 3.5 out of 5. Better than that, for sure. <laughs> I wish I could like it. Now this destructive looking thingy is something that was recommended by a friend of ours a while ago. And almost every time we come by, we get to try this now. This Spike apple cider, 
frozen. It was, the machine didn't really look like it was running the best today. It's like more liquid than it is frozen, but we're still here for it. A little bit too sweet needs a smidge more alcohol. It's like candied apple cider frozen. I can taste no alcohol. And not in a good way. Two and a half out of five plus. have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the natural fertilizers. We can enrich the soil without the use of chemicals. In arid regions, we're learning to produce food on desert sea coasts by developing tomorrow's growing needs for food production. Yet still there's Welcome to our glimmering greenhouses, where scientists from Asia put one of the most important holiday crops actually grows in the tropics. The cow is chocolate's main ingredient. Today, people around the world are able to enjoy a variety of sweets and keep warm on top of hot cocoa, thanks to this tropical plant. Right. So cute! 
are common in Florida, but in Northern Europe, okay, where fresh fruit is rare really in winter, they're much harder to here. find, making them an extra year. special it's stocking amazing. stuffer. Oh, I guess it's cool. Use the need for pesticides, and by growing brown plants early, we give them better protection from disease. With these gifts, our plants can grow an abundance of festive vegetables. It's used to make cinnamon seeds. If you like eggnog, you can thank nutmeg for its signature taste. Other spices, like ginger and vanilla, add flavor to a variety of holiday cookies, cakes, and other land's many gifts. So, we this just did is, one. That was an intro. Oh, okay. So, that's our low key hangout at Epcot for the day. Sometimes we just want to come for a few hours, hang out, have a couple drinks with some friends. I know what you guys like to do. Do you like long hangouts, short hangouts? Maybe we should do longer versions of these. You'll have to convince the princess because she doesn't want to be here all day. And thank you, everybody, who stopped for us, specifically Planet Mirror, because you're awesome. Yes, sir. Always good to see you. We are always always appreciate when you guys stop and say hello. We feel like nobody's in this community, so when somebody recognizes us, that makes our day. Even our year, almost. But uh, definitely leave a comment if there's anything else you'd like to see us do. And as always... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And comment, because if you don't comment, I don't think Bear wants to bound. And I want him to bound, so comment. I think I did put that on the table this year. Comment and tell him to bound. Whatever it is, tell us in the comments what you want him to bound as. I think I have opened Pandora's box, but you heard the girl.